Welcome back to the Owen Center in Peoria, Illinois. We're about to enter third period action in the Mid-America Collegiate Hockey Association Silver Division Championship game between ISU and Marquette. Entering play here, as you can see, the shots on goal are dead even, 22 apiece. And on the big board, we are scoreless. Very clean second period, no penalties. And it's been a very well-played game overall. Very few penalties. There was a, a couple in the first period. The play has been mostly, mostly dump and chase, although there have been some odd man breakout attempts. Both goaltenders playing strong, standing tall in their nets. And, there were, and when there are any disturbances, they've been quick to freeze the puck. Better safe than sorry is the MO today. So let's see if anything changes as we go into the third period of play as far as style of play. Now these two teams were the top two seeds entering the Silver Division playoffs. ISU number one and Marquette number two. Marquette is the defending Silver Division playoff championships from last year, so they're looking to defend their crown. And ISU looking to take over. Right now, the referees are just clearing up some excess water at center ice after the Zamboni clear. And once that's completed, we'll get underway here in the third period. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in and watching on SportstownChicago.com. Those of you who are fans of Marquette or Iowa State hockey, if you're able to join us, we thank you for tuning in. We've had the pleasure of calling all the action here in the Silver Division playoffs this weekend at the Owen Center in Peoria. We'd also like to thank the Owen Center for hosting us, SportstownChicago.com, for the Mid-America Collegiate Hockey Association playoffs and for MACA for allowing us to televise. So thank you to one and all. Thank you, the viewer. We're underway here in the third period. ISU wins the draw. Zurich brings it up along the far boards. Puck dumped in by Donovan. Now Shackmuth. Shot on net. Loose. And it's gathered up quickly by Marquette. That was a dangerous opportunity. Benkovic centering it up into the far corner where DeSalvo goes after it for Marquette. Now Benkovic, near corner. He loses the puck. Iowa State coming out with it. Skating over the line. That's Donovan. Donovan flips it. Towards Robbie Arner, he has to play it. Comes out of his net. And Zurich steals the puck at the left, right point. Bankovic now, Bankovic with the salvo. Bankovic with a shot from the near circle. And Robbie Cordes able to hold on, no rebound given. The dangerous Michael DeSalvo closing in on that, looking for a rebound attempt from the shot from Bankovic. There you go to look at the action at the other end just prior to that play, and then the continuation. Face off inside the ISU zone. Cyclones gain possession. Domina flips it along the far boards to Wishman. Wishman looking for a center attempt at Gross, unable to connect. Now the puck goes behind the Marquette net. Gross able to find it. Puck flipped on net from the point, and Arner able to stick that to the side. Rebound attempt lo lying loose there by Wishman. And Arner also able to stick that aside as well. Alex Gross dumps the puck into the near corner of the Marquette zone. Puck is rung around where it's going to be played now. A centering attempt. Looking to make a connection with Johnny Stillman. Stillman behind the ISU net. Loses possession of the puck. Puck flicked up to the far point. That's taken by Johnny Domina of ISU. He flips it to center ice. Flips, however, into the Cyclones bench. And we'll have a stop at the play and a faceoff. Faceoff in front of the Cyclones bench along the dot in the far boards. ISU finally able to take possession. Zurich. On the near board center ice. He flips it in 
Sticked aside by Robbie Arner into the near corner. Adkins going after it for ISU. Now Ronan. And Zafoni rings it around into the far corner, near corner. Ronan behind the Marquette net. Zafoni. Far point shot was intercepted. And coming out with it, unable to maintain possession, is Marquette. Now they're going to have to regroup back at their own blue line. Carrying the puck forward, Eric Plotz shovels it to center ice. Goes into the ISU zone where Robbie Cordes is going to hold on rather than play it. We'll have a faceoff inside the Cyclone zone. So just a well-played game, as said before. The score is 0-0. Very few penalties. Play hasn't been chippy, but it's it's been well respected. You can see both teams respect the skill level on each team. Marquette in the far corner. We have a puck battle. Now it comes loose. Chasing after it. Eric Podwellis for Marquette. Leafly looking to center, unable to gain control. Jack McGinty now for ISU, jars the puck loose, and Janicki will pick up for the Cyclones. He'll flip it to center ice. Redmond intercepts it, however, but the puck is deflected. Podwellis tries to pick it up for Marquette, unable to do so. Nick Drought flips the puck on net inside the Marquette zone. And Marquette will look to regroup. Joe Bertain, just outside his blue line. The puck goes over to center ice. Centering attempt goes loose. Podwellis was putting on some good pressure there. And rather than play the puck, again, Robbie Cordes decided better of it. Hold on. There you see on the replay. Face off inside the ISU zone. One by the Cyclones. Shovel ahead. And the puck was taken away and flipped to center ice by Marquette. Now dump back inside the Marquette zone towards net. Intercepted, however. And coming out of his own zone is Brandon Netwara. Flips it to center ice. Feeds Eric Baldwin. Out. Baldwin loses possession. The puck rings back down into the ISU zone. We have an icing call. Face off will come back inside the Marquette zone. Faceoff will be to the left of Robbie Arner, the Golden Eagles goaltender. The only goalie on the roster for the Golden Eagles. Iowa State wins the draw and a quick turnaround shot from Alex Gross. Stick to side there by Arner. Wishman going into the near corner for ISU inside the Marquette zone along the near boards. Puck escapes Zurich at the point. Chasing after it is Marquette. Centering pass was blocked and then intercepted. Alex Gross coming out of his own zone for ISU. Goes into the Marquette zone, tried to stick handle around a couple defenders, unable to do so. Michael DeSalvo for the Golden Eagles now at center ice. He loses the puck. Zurich for ISU flips it into the Marquette zone to his counterpart, number three, Joe Bertain. Bertain picks up the puck along the near boards. Shovels it to center ice, still has possession. Now he finally flips it into the ISU zone. And he'll go off for a change. Now ISU trying to escape in their own zone, behind their own net. Coming forward, Brian Halapa. Skating forward now for ISU is Brian Bunton. Locked loose now, coming out of his own zone. Moving forward is Johnny Stillman, far circle. Behind the ISU net, he's doing battle with Janicki. Stillman has the puck for Marquette, flips it to the point. Redmond shot on net, gloved aside. Puck lies loose, ISU able to pick it up. Skating forward now is Richard Ronan. Center ice feed, unable to connect now with Bunton. Atkins flips it in behind the Marquette net. Joe Bertain will pick it up. We are gonna have a penalty call. Marquette's going to be shorthanded, slashing. 
Into the box goes Corey Quinn. This is our first penalty since the tail end of the first period. Marquette, four penalties on the day. And ISU won. So Corey Quinn in the box for slashing. And ISU will have a power play attempt. Face off inside the Marquette zone, Marquette clears. Puck goes just to the side of the net where Robbie Cordes holds it for ISU. Christian Leithley was coming down, so rather than play the puck, he held on. So we're gonna have a face off inside the Cyclone zone with 14.05 to play. Here in the third period of the Silver Division Championship. ISU wins the draw, Zurich will go behind his own net, set up the exit. Along the near boards, Wishman, center ice, moving inside the Marquette zone along the near boards into the near corner. Behind the Marquette net, he gets tripped up, no call. Puck gets flipped out by Marquette. Munthen will pick it up, the loose puck, then Zurich. Zurich carries it in for the Cyclones along the near boards. He gets knocked off the puck. Wishman gets it for ISU, wings it around the far boards. Gross, gross. Near point, Zurich. He was looking to pass, got deflected by Leithley of Marquette. Now it goes into the far corner where Gross recovers for ISU. Gross, we're gonna feed it to the far point. Back to Gross, near point. Far point, Bunthen. Circle, shot attempt by Gross. Pad saved by Arner, and it goes along the near boards. Still kept in by ISU. Now Zurich and Bunthen trade places. Alex Gross behind the net for ISU. He flips it to the left point. Zurich gets a shot attempt off that stick to side and then eventually cleared by Marquette's Adam Bankovic on net to Robbie Cordes. He feeds a long pass up to Wishman and he's looking to center. Trying to catch Bonvin on a break inside the zone. Bonvin behind the Marquette net. Flips it over to Eric Baldwin. Baldwin, now to Zurich. Bonvin. Fires a soft shot on net, and that's easily gloved by Robbie Arner. He holds on. And we'll have a faceoff inside the Cyclone zone with a few ticks left on the power play for Iowa State. So Iowa State getting some movement on the power play, but not necessarily getting grade A scoring chances. Big draw here for the Cyclone. Shaq move, and ISU wins the draw. Bondman from the slot, fires! And a good save by Arner. And Marquette clears inside the ISU zone. ISU looking to regroup. Stuck inside their own zone. Baldwin has it, penalty expires. Both teams at full strength. Baldwin in his own zone for ISU. Skating along the far boards, gets it out to center ice. Shackmuth, Shackmuth for ISU. Loses the puck. Oh, and a big hit, Janicki. Leveling Johnny Stillman at center ice. He's slow to get up. Carrying the puck for it now. Running into the boards there, Johnny Stillman. Probably still frustrated from the last attempt. Now the play getting a little chippy here. Stillman running around, lays another hit now. And there's a man down for Iowa. Shot flipped into the Marquette zone. Uh, and the shot was gloved into the net. Puck glove tipped into the net. We have a man down inside the ISU zone on the second hit by Stillman. Again, he was running around after being hit at center ice. He rubbed out a man inside the ISU zone. He is still down. And getting up on his own power, that's ISU's Robert Donovan. So after Stillman got hit, he went and hit Bonvin of ISU at center ice. And then he went back into the ISU zone. He got a piece of Donovan and Donovan was knocked down. He was lying down on the ice for a little while. No penalty called, however, and we resume at full strength. Shot attempt goes stick to side by Arner into the near corner of Marquette. Marquette looking to break out, puck intercepted by Zurich of ISU, flips it into the Marquette zone where Schippel will take it behind his own net. 
Zurich unable to keep the puck in at the point for ISU. And Shipaw will gain control for Marquette inside behind his own goal line. Flip pass over to Talmanic. Trying to reach DeSalvo, unable to connect. Coming into the zone, firing a shot was Ronan on net. Nice save by Arner. Shot from Zafino from the left point. Arner able to hold on there and we have a whistle. 10.50 to play in the third period. Still no score. There you get a look at the last shot by Zafino, covered up by Erner. Draw inside the Golden Eagle zone. Marquette comes out with it. We have a penalty. Referee's arms up, let's see what the call is. Iowa State, Filfus going to the box for high sticking. So now Marquette will have a power play. This is their second power play of the day. Let's see if they're able to capitalize. We're about halfway through the third period in a scoreless championship game for the Silver Division for Maka. Face off inside the Cyclone zone to the left of Robbie Cordes. Wishman. Rings the puck out of his own zone. Arner stops it for Marquette. Shippa will pick it up and go behind his own zone and reset. Comes out from behind his own net. Feeding the puck over to Telmanic and he dumps it into the ISU zone where it's gonna be chased down by the Golden Eagles, Christopher Dolan. Dolan comes loose, centering attempt, goes to the far point, shot on net. Steered aside, that shot from Corey Quinn went into the near corner. Now coming out with it, Telmanic. Feeding Corey Quinn. Quinn now in the near corner along the near half boards. Gets it over to Shipaw, far point. Shipaw, far point shot, goes wide up into the netting. Face off inside the Cyclone zone. Face off will be to the left of goaltender Robbie Cordes. And ISU wins the draw. Marquette having to regroup at center ice. Nitwara skating in for Marquette inside the ISU zone. Taken away and flipped down. Puck is cleared. Taking the puck is Eric Plotz for Marquette behind his own net. Centering pass, he was trying to reach. Brandon Netwara unable to connect, and ISU clears again. Eric Plotz go back behind his net. Set things up again for the Golden Eagles. Carrying the puck outside of his own zone at his own blue line. Pass attempt, he was trying to reach Bankovic, and now Michael DeSalvo has it behind the ISU net. He gets rubbed off the play. Podwellis tried to pick up the puck, and the puck is saved inside the ISU zone. Brandon Nedwara coming in from the point. Now Michael DeSalvo behind the ISU goal. Stick handled, puck comes loose in front of the net. Cordes holds on, and we'll have a faceoff. Just four seconds left on the penalty to ISU, and then we'll be back at full strength. This will be an important draw for the Golden Eagles if they can win the draw. Get a quick shot attempt here while they still have the man advantage. Marquette wins the draw, shot off the draw. They got exactly what they wanted, rebound attempt. And that goes wide. Lee Barnes with a couple shot attempts right off the draw, so couldn't have drawn it up any better, but Cordes was there to stand tall. Now puck battle behind the net. Johnny Domina comes out with it for ISU at his center ice. Looking to feed Alex Gross. Oh, and he gets leveled by Redmond. Inside the Marquette zone, Redmond leveled Alex Gross. Now we're gonna have a penalty on ISU. 
as Lee Barnes was taken down inside the Marquette zone. Play is definitely getting chippy now. Alex Gross coming in. There's a man down for Marquette in front of the ISU bench. A couple ISU players hovering over him. Referees certainly don't want anything to happen while a player's in a defenseless position as such. All right, so let's see things get sorted out here. The ref had his arm up. Here, you're going to look at the hit. Alex Gross leveled by Colin Redmond. Thundering hit. All right, so I saw an arm up, but there, finally, it's Johnny Domina going to the box for ISU. Penalty is now put on the scoreboard. 7.58 to play. ISU will be shorthanded. Marquette returns to the power play. And they had just finished the power play previously. But both teams, I think, getting a little frustrated. The hits are getting heavier here. And every little play is magnified right now. Faceoff is going to be to the right of Robbie Cordes. Taking the draw will be Wishman for ISU. Marquette wins the draw. Corey Quinn at the far point. Quinn feeds it on net. Pad saved by Cordes. Recovered Shipaw. Left point. Shot on net. Locked the side. See, they're going to call that out of play. And the faceoff will go to Cordes's right inside the ISU zone. Stillman, Telmanic, and Christopher Dolan on the wings for Marquette. Pat saved. Puck goes into the corner. Puck is loose. Shipball looks to keep it in. He does. But we have a stoppage of play. And we're going to have a penalty. Penalty mark cut. That'll negate the power play. We're going to have a minute 32 of four on four hockey. And then after that, ISU will have a 28 second man advantage. Faceoff's going to come down inside the Marquette zone. 7.31 to go, scoreless in the Silver Division Championship for the Mid-American Collegiate Hockey Association. All right, puck behind the net, ISU battling. Four on four hockey. Janicki for ISU. Feeds it off to Donovan. Back to Janicki in his own zone to Bonvin. Bonvin, center ice, over the blue line. He was looking to feed Donovan on the right wing, unable to. And picking up the puck and clearing out of the zone was Netwara for Marquette. ISU regains possession, center ice, Donovan. Donovan in along the near boards. Shot attempt blocked there by Joe Bertain. Puck goes into the corner, and it's going to be picked up by Pod Willis of Marquette along the near boards in his own zone. Puck is fed over to Netwara, who dumps it in towards the net. And clearing the puck over to... Janicki carrying it along the far boards for ISU. Centering attempt for Bonvin went wide, and that should be icing, and it is. 6 31 to play here in the third period. We still have 33 seconds on the initial penalty to ISU. And then after that, the Cyclones will have a about a 30 second power play. Ship off at the left point. Long near board. Taking the puck is Pud Willis. Pud Willis has the puck along the near corner in the ISU zone. Now he loses control. And he regains it. Near corner. Knocked off the play by Janicki. Puck is loose. Bonvin takes it for ISU. Flips it out. Looking for Alex Gross. Doesn't make a connection. Ship off trying to do a spin move. Alex Gross steals the puck. Centers it on net. Robbie Arner holds on for the puck, and there's a collision. As coming in was Brian Bunton, 
to looking for a potential rebound opportunity off the flip pass from Alex Gross. Faceoff will be inside the Marquette zone. This is going to be to the left of Robbie Arner. Cyclones win the draw. Zurich keeps it in at the point, rings it to the near corner. Shipball has it behind his own net. He clears. And we have a power play opportunity now for the Cyclones. About 15 seconds remaining. Zurich has it. He's being pressured there by Leithley. Shot by Zurich. Sticked aside by Arner. Near boards Wishman. By Zurich. Shot. Stick save and into the netting. Everything that ISU is throwing at Robbie Arner, he's sticking aside. And likewise, the other end, Robbie Cordes doing the same for the Cyclones. Both goaltenders have an outstanding game today. Couple seconds left on the power play for the Cyclones. Face off inside the Marquette zone, Quinn and Shackmuth. Marquette wins the draw. Shackmuth, however, intercepts the puck. Penalty over. Atkins fires a shot. It's loose in front of the net. Rebound. Shoveled past the goaltender. Moving along the far boards where Janicki will take it for ISU. Unable to keep it in. Moving forward now is Stillman. Stillman loses control of the puck. He's being held. No call. And Donovan comes out for ISU. Skating forward now for ISU is Eric Baldwin. Baldwin, centering pass. Unable to make a connection. And crashing into the boards in the near corner was Donovan. He is hurt. He is immediately going to the bench. Bench. And play continues. Janicki over to Zurich. Back to Janicki. Now to Shackmuth coming inside the Marquette zone. Near face off circle shot attempt. Stick save into the netting by Arner. And we finally have a whistle. That hit in the corner. Very not exactly hit. He was crashing trying to get a centering attempt with Donovan. And he got tripped up and went flying into the corner. It looks like he was clutching his right hand when he came off, immediately dropped the glove. And he's getting medical attention right now on the Cyclones bench. Warriors win the, the Golden Eagles win the draw inside the zone. Shot attempt blocked, however. Zurich flips it in on net. Arner sees it easily, drops it for his defenseman, Redmond. Redmond eludes a check by Adkins. Atkins picks up the loose puck, however, flips it in the air behind the goal. And Joe Bertain will get it from Marquette, flips it to center ice. Kept in at the point, now regain control, ISU does. Michael DeSalvo flipping it into the zone, coming in as Colin Telmanic gets a shot off, goes wide. Of course, shot from the near point by Redmond was saved and blocked. Now DeSalvo has it behind the ISU net for Marquette, looking to feed Telmanic, unable to do so. Coming out with it now and skating forward is Ryan Bunton for ISU, gets in all alone, and a big save by Arner. Rebound attempt was loose, Marquette clears. Bonvin takes it at center ice, then picked up by Redmond. Now Alex Gross comes in, stick handling past a couple players, he scores! Alex Gross with an individual effort, getting stick handling around two defenders, and he's able to flip a backhander past Robbie Arner. And finally, at the 329 mark in the third period, 329 left, we have our first goal of this contest. Just a tremendous individual effort you'll see by Alex Gross here. He gets around Redmond, then Bertain, flipping the backhander past Arner. And ISU leads one to nothing. Wishman from the far boards, whistles a shot past Arner. Puck comes all along the near boards. Puck on net by Gross. He flips it on net, he'll go for a change. Marquette now, looking to gain entry inside the ISU zone, flipping it in, was William Pudwellis. He chases after it along with Leafly. ISU comes out, Wishman. Now Domina. However, Eric Baldwin was off sides. The faceoff will come outside the zone. Bobby Arner didn't like the fact that the puck was shot after the whistle blew. And he's protesting. Wanting a penalty called there. 
I don't think the refs are going to call something like that at this point, though. Faceoff now comes outside the Marquette zone just in front of the Golden Eagles bench. Dot in the far boards. And coming out with it was Brandon Netwar at center ice. Skating in. Moving along the far boards. Flipping a shot on net. Puck legs loose. Rebound. Score! Johnny Stillman with the rebound of the flip attempt from Netwara. And just like that, we're tied. Unbelievable. Here you're going to see coming along the far boards, Netwara flips the puck on net. Save by Cordes. Puck is loose. Stillman able to stop just enough time to flip the puck in, the rebound into the net. And we're tied at one. 2.43 to go here in the third period of the Silver Division Championship on Maka Hockey. ISU entering the Marquette zone. Shot on net. Save by Arner. Puck behind the Marquette net. Battle on the boards there. Netwara. Now play is getting additionally physical here as every team player is scratching, clawing for every advantage. Morrow carrying the puck inside the ISU zone. He's rubbed off the play. Zurich takes position for ISU. Over the blue line, two on one. He's got Bunton with him. Puck is loose. And finally cleared outside of the zone. Coming in now, loose puck, blue line. Offsides call. Johnny Domina fires a shot wide to the left of Arner. And the puck is cleared out inside the zone by Morrow. Bonvin from ISU rings it around inside the Marquette zone to the far boards. Domina tried to get a look at it, unable to. Knocked off the play, no call. Oh, we do have a call. We are gonna have an interference call. Colin Telmanic was looking to go on a breakout. And he was interfered with and going to the box for ISU is Britt Ruffin. Minute 37 to go. Marquette going on the power play. We are tied at one. And we're gonna have a timeout. Both teams will talk through strategy here from a penalty kill and power play perspective. Well, if you wanted an exciting, fast-paced game, you got it today. Those of you tuning in and watching us on SportstownChicago.com, I think you've seen a, a whale of a hockey game today. And we still got more, more time on the clock. And if we're still tied up at the end of regulation, we'll move into sudden death overtime here at the Owens Center in Peoria, Illinois. This is Mid-America Collegiate Hockey Association Silver Division Playoffs on SportstownChicago.com. All right, Marquette coming back from the timeout. Heading into the zone. The faceoff is going to be to the right of Robbie Cordes. Iowa State, no, it's going to be to his left. Iowa State now returning from timeout. Both teams in position, face off inside the ISU zone. One by Marquette. Chip ball, left point, left circle. Fires a shot, pad save. Puck is loose. ISU unable to clear. Going after it is Telmanic. Clips it in the corner, Stillman. Stillman, near corner. Gets it to the point, Chip ball. Chip ball, fires a puck on net. And that's a blocker save by Cordes. Buck is loose. Shipaw looking to keep it in. Unable to get there in time, and they'll have to regroup Marquette. Shipaw at center ice. Stick handles around one defender. Loses control. Puck shot down into the Marquette zone. Arner will hold it there. And Colin Telmanic will pick it up for the Golden Eagles. Head pass over to Christopher Dolan. Puck dumped back in the ISU zone. Marquette has to clear. And they do. Puck behind the Marquette bench now. A uh, goal, Corey Quinn. Looking to reset, 37 seconds left in the period. Skating over the ice. And puck cleared now, chasing back after is Corey Quinn. 
Quinn in his own zone. 26 seconds left. The head man pass trying to make a connection with Christopher Dolan. Puck is loose at center ice. Corey Quinn gets it over to Shippaw on the right point. He dumps it into the zone, intercepted by ISU and cleared. Arner sticks it aside in the near corner. He's going after it. And picking up the puck now is Netwara. He'll circuit around the near corner. Alex Gross, ever dangerous, picks up the puck. Time expires, however, and a little nastiness at the end there between Gross and Netwara. I think both teams need to be careful here. They don't can't afford to have anyone else go to the box. As we're gonna move into overtime, sudden death overtime. All right, play finally broken up. So at the end of regulation, three periods of play, one goal each, ISU and Marquette in this third period. Shots on goal 42 to 37 in favor of ISU. There'll be 24 seconds of penalty time on the clock for ISU when they return. So they'll be shorthanded for the first 24 seconds of sudden death. When we come back on sportsdownchicago.com. Out of all the schools I applied to, Illinois Media School.